Hi dear children, now we are going to learn about meiosis. The term meiosis was coined by Farmer in the year 1905. What is meiosis? Meiosis is a kind of cell division that occur only in the reproductive cells. In the human body, there are two types of cells. One is the body cells, it means somatic cells and germinal cells are otherwise called as the reproductive cells, I mean gamete. Body cells, the cell division occurs by mitosis and reproductive cells are gametes, cell division occurs by meiosis. So the cell division meiosis is also called as reduction division. What is reduction division? In this process, the number of chromosome per cell is cut in half through the separation of homologous chromosome. But 2n cell condition la n plus n renda what you that is called the applied. Okay. About two cells, this will form four genetically different sex cells. I mean gametes is the applied. So you should know about what is diploid and applied. Chromosome 2n for example 46 chromosomes on other diploid 2n. As the path is gamete 23, that's applied n. Apo 2n conditional code chromosome, rendi n na 23 plus 23 what is the that is called as the meiosis process. This means that it increases the differences between the people's DNA so that every person is genetically different. Okay, then now we are going to learn about the divisions of meiosis. There are two types of meiosis process occur. One is a meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. Meiosis 1 is called as the heterotypic and meiosis 2 is called as the homotypic. Okay. So the prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, finally cytokinesis. Already told you, please meet at 10. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase and finally cytokinesis. It is occur, it's a have first event. So this is called as the first meiotic division and followed by the first meiotic division, second phase will occur. That's a prophase 2, metaphase 2, anaphase 2, telophase 2, followed by the cytokinesis. First one we can learn about the meiosis 1. The meiosis 1, for I already told you the prophase is the longest phase. In this phase, it can be, I mean, it divided into five zones as the five stages, leptotin, zygotin, patchetin, diplotin, dikinesis. Simply we can remember by the term, what a lazy zebra punch the dull divya. Can you tell me? Lazy zebra punch the dull divya. Leptotin, zygotin, patchetin, Diplotin dikinesis. Okay, these are all the four stages of the, I mean, five stages of prophase one. Okay, so in this prophase one, leptotin is the first stage. Now we can learn about the leptotin in detail. The first stage of the prophase is leptotin, or it is also called as leptonema. In this phase, all the chromosome begin to condense. All the chromosome are clear. All the condense are. They carry on. Because that is, or X baller chromosome carry on. They are form as a thread. Thread baller or null baller form it. Okay. And also there is a marked increase in nuclear volume. That is now our nucleus volume. That is more. This process, a process of homology search, which is essential to the initial pairing of homologous. Being during leptotin. During this stage, the chromosome becomes uncoiled. Thread like structure of RO. In the stage, the leptotin stage. Next to one, zygotin stage. In the zygotin stage, two homologous chromosomes approach each other and begin to pair. Okay. Chromosome and upana to orema chromosome. The nilam and nilam of red red ceremony. Homologous chromosome start pairing. Okay, so mostly this process is also called as a pairing. The place where the homologous chromosomes are joined together is called as synapsis. Okay, and there the synapsis. 
the combined homologous chromosome are said to be bivalent. Why yeah, bivalent? Na binary two. Render ko. In the back or render. In the back or render ko. Siriya. This one half. This one half. So the out during the zygote stage, chromosomes are pairing process occur. I mean threads are paired together. A similar set of threads and chromosome appear as a bivalent in nature. Okay. And next stage is pachytin. So in the pachytin stage, the o chromosomes are visible. Nala thiriyo, nala visible la thiriyaram chiro. And then as long pair twisted threads or threadable neat or long threadable form avanga. And this chromosome inge yo bivalent chromosome rko, rendi endu kada rko, brendi rende, blue rende endu rko, bivalent chromosome. Each chromosome having four end. One, two, three, four. So inge bar green abadina inge orna rende, inge moon naal. Apo this stage, the chromosome is called as the tetrads. Tetrads are four. So the two chromosome, the chromosome pair, after pairing, naal yender kabari formao. That is called the tetrads in condition. And also during the stages, the crossing over process occur. Crossing over na, or in the for example, red blue kliya. In the chromosome lande red ko, red lande blue ko segment cross ago. This is called the crossing over. In the crossing over, let me know. Genetic recombination will happen. Genetic recombination. In the chromosome, like a factor, inge yo, inge var mode, or new combination le chromosome will happen. That is the pachytin stage. Okay. And next to one diplotin. During the diplotin stage, it's also called as the two thread stage. Okay. In the homologous chromosome separate from one another. अपने कुछ जिम्मा पिरियार ही बोलूँ। मैंने कहीं पिरियार ही बोला है। पिरियार ही बोले chromosome begin to move along the length of the chromosome chromosome from centromere। इधर centromere ना इंगेर उन्हें पिरिंजी मेला पोवांगे। सही है? अब इन डी प्रोसेस पर है terminalization। याना ये रखने में form आना chromosome में पिरिंजी बोर दाला। This process is called as this stage is called as a terminalization stage. And next one, dikinesis. Do you know dikinesis? And I preach about it. Di plus kinesis. Di na two, di na two. Kinesis means division. The chromosomes are highly condensed. All the current jerko. Kinesis but they begin to move. And the chromosome and chromosome, and I preach around it. They move towards the terminal. Main lo ekhi powari panga. So, idu pagam bode nucleolus disappear. Angar dina panna ga disappear ite. Spindle fibers are formed. Anga anga ka formed. Okay. In the stage bar da diakinesis. These are all the five stages of what the professor one. What are they? Lazy zebra, punched dull divya, leptotin, zygotin, pachytin, diplotin, and diakinesis. Then next one metaphase one. Okay. Metaphase one. In this stage. Spindle fibers attached to the homologous chromosome. इंगे इधर ना spindle fibers है thread like structure है और the homologous chromosome कोड़ा इधर लार दो अगर कोड़ा ना पड़ रहा attach आये दो okay now the chromosome in the equatorial plate equatorial plate ना अभी पागल vertical plate पागल है इधर तले किरा पागल अभी अरे चल ना पता ना इधर north pole इस south pole में रखना पड़ेगा so the chromosomes are comes at center of the cell okay and then in this stage each chromosome, that is separate from the centromere does not divide. No, it is not. And the next stage, anaphase stage. In this anaphase stage, homologous chromosome with the two chromatids and undivided centromere move towards the opposite poles. Here you can see, the chromosome is done, it 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 is done. Here you can see, the yellow color is pink, pink is yellow, this is due to the crossing over. And the uh, uh, patch it in stage la homologous chromosome the segment cross in the in the pink in the bochi in the ling the bochi. So the chromosome separate and start move towards the poles. Either in the bagamo in the bagamo with the the thread like structure that is called spindle fibers. Okay. And next stage. Telophase one. During the telophase stage, the haploid chromosome. Now, now, male the chromosome gather opposite end. This one, in your pole, in your pole, now the chromosome, now, male opposite end. Now, point. 
டூ அதாவது ஒரு எயிட்டு எட்டு மாதிரி குரோமோ அந்த செல் டிவைட் ஆவா ட்ரை பண்ணும் ஓகே இன் திஸ் ப்ராசஸ் த செல்ஸ் ஆர் குரோமோசோம்ஸ் ஆர் டிவைடட் மூவ் டுவர்ட்ஸ் த போல்ஸ் செல்ஸ் ஸ்டார்ட் டிவைடிங் ஓகே தென் ஃபாலோ பை த டிலோஃபேஸ் தேர் இஸ் அ சைட்டோகைனசிஸ் என்ன ஆயிடுச்சு அந்த எட்டு போல அந்த செல்லு இல்லையா அது ரெண்டாக பிரிஞ்சு டூ குரோமோசோம் டூ செல்ஸ் ஆர் நியூலி ஃபார்ம்டு அகைன் அது ஃபார்ம் ஆன உடனே நியூக்ளியஸ் அப்பியர் அகைன் தென் குரோமேட்டின் ரெட்டிகுலம் த்ரெட் லைக் செக்சர் ஃபார்ம் ஆகிடுச்சு அந்த ஸ்பிண்டில் ஃபைபர்ஸ் எல்லாம் மறைஞ்சிடும் டூ நியூ ஆப்ளைட் செல்ஸ் ஆர் ஃபார்ம்டு இந்த ஏற்கனவே அந்த செல்லில் இருந்து பாதி பாதி இது ரெண்டும் டூ என்ன இருந்துச்சு இல்லையா இப்போ என் என்ன டூ ஆப்ளாய் செல்ஸ் ஆர் ஃபார்ம் திஸ் இஸ் த end of the cytokinesis 1 okay the next one homophytic division what is homophytic division second meiotic division it is just like a mitosis what is the mitosis the mitosis la chromosome number la double ah meiosis 1 la reduce ah but meiosis 2 just like a mitosis so now the number of the cell will increase so in the prophase 2 நியூக்ளியர் மெம்ரேன் அண்ட் நியூக்ளியர் ஃப்ராக்மெண்ட் ஃப்ராக்மெண்ட்டை உடைய ஆரம்பிக்கும் ஸ்பிண்டில் ஃபைபர்ஸ் அங்கே அங்கே லைட்டாக ஃபார்ம் ஆக ஆரம்பிப்பார் சென்ட்ரியோல்ஸ் இந்த சென்ட்ரியோல்ஸை மூவ் டுவர்ட்ஸ் த போல்ஸ் ஓகே இது ப்ரொஃபைஸ் ஸ்டேஜில் நடக்கூடியது செகண்ட் ஒன் மெட்டாஃபேஸ் குரோமோசோம் அலைன் அலாங் த ஈக்வேட்டர் செல் குரோமோசோம் இப்போது சென்ட்ரில் வந்துடுறாங்க ஸ்பிண்டில் ஃபைபர்ஸ் ஃபார்ம் ஆகிடும் ஓகே ஸ்பிண்டில் ஃபைபர்ஸ் த்ரெட் லைக் செக்சர் இல்லையா அது ஃபார்ம் ஆகிடும் குரோமோசோம் இப்போது எக்ஸாக்ட் சென்ட்ரில் வந்திருப்பாங்க ஓகே and next one anaphase 2 so the chromosome again start dividing and the naalu pair agirathu renda periyum okay pirinjittu they start moving towards the opposite poles okay in the green in the pakka pore in the green in the blue in the pakka pogar okay that is the anaphase 2 and last one telophase 2 the telophase 2 நியூக்ளியர் நியூக்ளியர் மெம்ரேன் அண்ட் நியூக்ளியர்லஸ் ரீஅப்பியர் இது பிரிஞ்சு இந்த செல் ரெண்டு போல்ஸ் மூவ் ஆகிட்ட உடனே அதை சுற்றி நியூக்ளியர்லஸ் நியூக்ளியர்ஸு நியூக்ளியர்லஸ்ஸு ஃபார்ம் ஆக ஆரம்பிப்பாங்க அந்த நியூக்ளியர்ஸுக்குள்ளே குரோமோசோம் த்ரெட் லைக் ஸ்ட்ரக்சரில் ஃபார்ம் ஆவாங்க ஸ்பிண்டில் ஃபைபர்ஸ்லாம் கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சம் மறைய ஆரம்பிக்கும் ஓகே இது எல்லாமே டீலோஃபேஸ் டீலோஃபேஸ் முடிஞ்சு என்ன நடக்கும் இந்த செல் ரெண்டாக உடையும் இல்லையா ஸோ தட் ஈஸ் சைட்டோகைனசிஸ் டூ ஸோ த சைட்டோகைனசிஸ் டூ செப்ரேட் த செல் இன்டு டூ செல்ஸ் ஓகே ஒரு செல்லை வந்து ரெண்டு செல்லாக பிரித்து அது என்னது டோட்டலாக ஏற்கனவே மேயாசிஸ் ஒன்றில் ஒரு டூ செல்ஸு இதில் ஒரு டூ செல்ஸ் சொல்லிட்டு ஃபோர் ஆப்ளாய்ட் செல்ஸை கேமிட்ஸை உருவாக்கும் எதுனா செகண்ட் மெயாசிக் மெயாட்டிக் ஸ்டேஜ் ஓகே தீஸ் ஆல் த ஸ்டேஜஸ் ஆர் அக்கர் இன் த மெயாசிஸ் ஒன் அண்ட் டூ தென் வாட் ஆர் த சிக்னிஃபிகன்ஸ் ஆஃப் மெயாசிஸ் Meiosis is the process which maintains a normal chromosome number. Why I'm saying that having the chromosome number ensure the ensure that when gametes with the applied number. If we have 2n is equal to 46, then so n plus 23, another n plus 23, when that is, we have 46. So in order to maintain constant chromosome number and nucleus in the organism. The, at the time of reproduction, gametes should be reduced as half of the chromosome. Then only two, when the two gametes are fused together, we can get the complete set of chromosome. Okay. And meiosis leads to increased variation. Variation is caused by one of the gametes. Parent, one parent, another gamete, another parent, mother, father, mother, share. There is a chance of variation. When fertilization is there, it is recombination of parental gene. At the time of fusion of the male and female gamete, male gamete contribute male characteristic features, female gamete contributes mother characters, and the same thing, one of the combination of the chromosome is one. Okay. This is the significance of meiosis. And last one, we can learn about the differences between mitosis and meiosis. I, as I told you already, mitosis occur in the somatic cells. Somatic cells are body cells. Meiosis occurs in the reproductive cells, gametes, sperm and ovum. Then mitosis involved in the growth and occurs continuously throughout the life. Continuous in the modern life. But meiosis occurs only in the gamete formation. That's why it's not possible. Consists of single division. Mitosis consists of single division. It's where we learned meiosis 1, meiosis 2. I mean heterotypic, homotypic. 
two diploid daughter cells are formed here uh, two diploid daughter cells the chromosome number equal to the parent uh, but here four haploid daughter cells are formed but they are haploid at the single chromosome work. okay then the chromosome number in the, mit the in mitosis the chromosome number in the daughter cell similar to the parent cell and the daughter cells of the chromosome our parent is similar but here what uh, just half of the parental cells then mitosis produce identical daughter cells and meiosis produce the daughter cells are not similar to the parent cell they are randomly assorted okay these are the differences between mitosis and meiosis thank you for watching